There are two genes in the human genome called PINK1 and PARKIN, which, when mutated, give rise to familial forms of Parkinson's disease. In this week's issue of Cell, we describe how these two proteins form a biochemical pathway that regulates how mitochondria move. Before telling you about that work and how we think it fits into the broader picture of Parkinson's disease, we'll give you some background. Mitochondria are necessary in all cells as a source of ATP, but mitochondria that are damaged or unhealthy are toxic and need to be cleared away. Our lab has been studying how mitochondria move around inside the cell. In this movie, in which a hippocampal axon has had its mitochondria labeled with a red fluorescent protein, you can see how many of the mitochondria are in motion. About 40% of them at any given time are moving back and forth. The two Parkinson's-related proteins involved here are PINK1, a protein kinase, and PARKIN, an E3 ubiquitin ligase. Normally, PINK1 is imported into mitochondria and proteolytically cleaved. But on damaged mitochondria, which no longer have their proper membrane potential, PINK1 accumulates instead on the outside. This recruits PARKIN to the surface, and activated PARKIN in turn causes mitophagy, a process in which the damaged mitochondrion is engulfed by an autophagosome and cleared away. Thus, PINK1 and PARKIN form a pathway for clearing away damaged mitochondria. So here's how these two different stories converge. The fact that mitochondria are moving, and the fact that PINK1 and PARKIN are a pathway for clearing away damaged mitochondria. The complex that's responsible for moving mitochondria is cartooned in this picture. The motor proteins necessary for movement are attached to the mitochondrion by a protein called Miro. PINK1 and the PARKIN become bound to Miro when mitochondria are depolarized. We can also cause their association by overexpressing PINK1 or PARKIN in neurons. In this video of an axon expressing PINK1, you can see mitochondria are no longer moving. PARKIN has the same effect. What's the mechanism at work here? Healthy mitochondria can move and fuse with one another, but on a damaged mitochondrion, PINK1 will accumulate and bind to and phosphorylate Miro. Then PARKIN, the ubiquitin ligase, binds to Miro and targets Miro for destruction by the proteasome. Without Miro, the motors are detached from the mitochondrion, and once stationary, it's less likely to fuse with other mitochondria and is now quarantined for subsequent mitophagy. Our work fits into an emerging view of Parkinson's disease as a mitochondrial disorder. And anything that helps to preserve healthy mitochondria or clear away damaged mitochondria has the therapeutic potential to ameliorate the disease. Many thanks to all our collaborators and to Theo Schwartz for video production.